The Swordfish 2 is one of the most iconic ships in anime and sci-fi history. It's piloted by Spike Spiegel from the anime Cowboy Bebop. The anime first aired in 1998 with a total of 26 episodes called Sessions. This Swordfish 2 is a 1 to 72 scale model kit by Bandai, first released in 2000. As a model kit, the build is straightforward, but if you want it to look good, you need to seal some gaps and paint it. My Swordfish 2 is a custom painted piece by Moki Plamo. The anime was a dark horse in its time, dealing with mature themes and psychedelic plots. The episodes reveal more about the characters' pasts as they come to terms with it in the present. Cowboy Bebop is now one of the most famous and highly regarded anime of all time, garnering multiple awards and spawning a wide array of merchandise and a live action adaptation by Netflix. We get to learn more about the Swordfish 2 in Session 19, Wild Horse. Swordfish 2 is a racer aircraft that has been heavily modified and retrofitted for Spike's needs. He's been the owner for 10 years in the events of the anime. It was given to him by Duhan, a mechanic who also restores old ships as a hobby. The landing gear folds into the wings and the body. The fin at the back folds out and the circular stabilizers can swivel backward. The plasma cannon can extend down from the body and can swivel side to side. It has no up and down swivel, but it can slide back into the ship's body when not in use. The ship's turbine has an extensive range of motion which allows the pilot to do complex maneuvers. This also gives the Swordfish 2 vertical and short takeoff and landing capabilities. The Swordfish 2's main weapon is the heavy plasma cannon. It fires energy blasts that can penetrate a ship's hull or vaporize water to make steam. It's an essential tool in Spike's line of work as a bounty hunter. The ship also has four medium-range machine guns mounted internally in the wings. Optional missiles can be mounted on hard points on the sides of the wings but is rarely used by the Bebop crew because they're expensive. The engine is a Rolls-Royce Aerospike turbine engine powered by a fusion reactor. According to Duhan, the Swordfish 2's engine does not require a silencer, otherwise he won't be able to tell how it's doing. The ship's landing gear folds out of the wings to reveal the wheels. A third wheel comes out of the body, and the fin at the back folds neatly under the stabilizers. The top of the aircraft opens up this way, which reveals the monopod. You can display the Swordfish 2 this way as if Spike is ready to go or just got back from a mission. The insides of the ship has enough detail, and Moki weathered the interior to show 10 years worth of Spike's usage. The monopod is a circular pod that houses the pilot, the cockpit, and all the controls for the aircraft. It enables the ship to operate and navigate in outer space. The top part opens up to reveal the cockpit. The pilot rides in position as if driving a motorcycle. The sides open up as well. Faye Valentine's ship, the Red Tail, also has a monopod, which fits the Swordfish too. The monopod's panels are originally transparent pieces of plastic, but Moki Plamo created an effect similar to what is seen in the anime. We get translucent panels that has an opaque effect when closed. Spike is rendered in 1 is to 72 scale as the pilot, and you can take him off the cockpit. The cockpit has details on the seat, the controls, and the monitor. The 
The Swordfish 2's wings can be folded to minimize the space it occupies in the hangar. This is my favorite mode because you can appreciate the undersides of the Swordfish 2 as well. In the anime, the Swordfish 2 is kept inside the Bebop this way and it's always exciting to see the wings unfold as Spike flies out for a mission. As a model kit, it has all the features I'd like the Swordfish 2 to have. The landing gear folds neatly in and out of the kit, and the monopod looks great when painted. I got this kit in new, unbuilt condition way back in 2014 for around 16 British pounds or 20 US dollars. In 2020, I asked Moki Plamo to paint and weather the kit, and this was the result. This model kit is only one out of three official scale model versions of the Swordfish 2 out in the market. I'll provide the details of each scale model in the description below, including their current prices. When it comes to looks, the most recent one is the 48 scale model by Good Smile Company would take the number one spot out of the box. The Bandai one is to 72 scale would come second, and the Bandai Soul of Papinica would come last for me, mainly because the die-cast finish looks like a toy. But when customized and detailed, the model kit would come on top for me, mainly because of its history as the very first scale model of the Swordfish 2 ever created. It's still the cheapest of the three, but may be hard to find nowadays. You can also display it with other 1-72 scale kits such as the Redtail, also made by Bandai. I therefore highly recommend this kit for Cowboy Bebop fans. And if you want to maximize its looks, ask a scale modeler to paint it for you, but be ready to pay the right price. Or you can paint it yourself if you have the skills and tools to do it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can support my channel by hitting like and subscribe. My name is Al, and I'll see you on the next one.